Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. What's up, Target family? Welcome back to my channel. So today is all about the Target Bullseye Playground. Right now they're getting organizational and Valentine's Day pieces. The Valentine's Day pieces I have yet to see myself. I've only seen a couple things, nothing too crazy. But right now they have a bunch of organizational pieces that are great for organizing inside of your home. One of my favorite items you can buy in the Bullseye Playground right now are these $3 floating shelves. All you have to do is drill them into your wall. Now they don't hit studs directly on the nail so you might have to use some drywall anchors. These shelves are perfect to put books on top of. So we ended up putting a couple of these up in my son's room and that's where I place some of his books. What I really like about this are the tiny little knobs that are on there. There's three of them total. You can hang whatever you like. So back in the day when I first started to read to Cooper, I was so confused because they say read to your kids as early as you can and as soon as you can. But Cooper would just I eat the books all the time or he had no interest. I'm like, how do people do this? So then I just realized you can't compare yourself to other people. Just because you're not reading a book to your kid every night does not make you a bad parent. Your kid might just not want to pay attention to you. And you try your best, you do what you can do and just be the best parent that you can be. But I would always compare and be like, man, why is it that Cooper eats these books? And then you just realize people show you the best part of themselves on um, social media. So you're not gonna see the behind the scenes of the kid eating the book. You're gonna see the kid looking very interested at the book. Here's another option for these knobs. If you have any teething rings or toys that have the ring that you wanna hang off of there, you can do that as long as you're hanging like clean teething rings. Cooper took the hearts away that I was using for his decor. Anyways, so in this area, there's like wasted space. So I think we are going to end up moving over the crib and I'm gonna use some of the Target Bullseye Playground items to store some toys in this corner so he can move freely in and out of the corner and this just doesn't go to waste. I found these stackable storage bins in the Bullseye Playground for $5 and they are a really big, decent size. There are these pieces on the side when you put them down that will make the bin stackable. So all you have to do is just place one on top of the other like so. I use my Cricut to cut out some vinyl in a style that's similar to Andy's handwriting from Toy Story. So the bottom of Woody's shoe, the way it's rented, I wanted to do something similar to match Cooper's nursery. It says you can stack up to three of these on top of each other. I'm regretting not buying a third one right now. And trust me, I am prepared to have these bins thrown around all the time with the cars thrown around all the time. This is just so great for organizing a child's room and to get just the clutter off of the floor. We're gonna organize underneath the kitchen sink. Before we do that, I wanna explain something. I am moving the cleaning supplies and putting them on a shelf inside of a cabinet. Cooper is starting to realize how to open the kitchen gate and there's no door there. And he also knows how to break off some of the child locks. So I decided I want to move any cleaning supplies because I've heard horror stories of kids getting a hold of cleaning supplies. So instead, I'm taking the stuff that was in the cabinet and bringing it down. I found the stackable organizer that are gonna work great underneath my kitchen sink. Underneath my sink, trying to stack these on top of each other does not work because of the pipe right there. So we're gonna do it differently. These actually hold entire rolls of garbage bags perfectly. I put two big rolls that we got at Costco inside of one of the bins. This is not a Bullseye Playground product. This is from Dollar Tree. It's one of their wire corner shelves and I absolutely love these things. I messed around a little bit with the setup underneath the sink and you know what there's a little bit of an oddness to this because I put some foam plates underneath there and utensils that we had left over from our Christmas Eve party. It's an odd place to keep those things but I'd rather have those underneath there versus any liquid cleaning supplies like I said. This worked well underneath the kitchen sink to organize the garbage bags and the extra sponges that we have on hand. I really do like these bins. In the Bullseye Playground right now, you can find so many tear trays, but I found this thin one for $5. Everybody always asks about my spice organizing rack that I have, and this is very similar, just a smaller size. This is a great option to store some of your spices, especially if you have a smaller kitchen and are looking for smaller pieces. For just $5, you have a simple spice rack that doesn't take up too much space. 
And now I want to thank my sponsor for this video, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is serious home security made simpler. All the protection, but with none of the hassle, headaches, or expense of the old school brands. Having Simply Safe security system makes me feel very safe, especially since my home is professionally monitored 24/7, and if anything happens, Simply Safe's professional monitoring service is ready to dispatch police or firefighters in an emergency. Everything was so easy to install. It took us only 20 minutes to install our entire system. That includes door and window sensors, carbon monoxide, and smoke detectors, which if triggered will alert you and get you the proper help you need right away. Everything you need to control your system can be done through the Simply Safe app, from arming your system to checking out your cameras to make sure everything is fine. The wireless outdoor security camera, which I love, is so easy to install. All you have to do is drill the camera base outside of your home and place the camera right onto the base. The outdoor camera, it has an easy to remove chargeable battery and doesn't need an outlet so it can go anywhere. A bonus for me is how long the battery lasts on the outdoor camera. Between the wireless outdoor camera and video doorbell camera, I feel very protected. Most of the thefts I've experienced have been at night, so I like being able to wake up in the middle of the night, not have to leave my bed, and see what's going on outside my house by just opening up the Simply Safe app. We actually have neighbors who throw parties and their guests frequently step on our lawn in front of our son's bedroom in the wee hours of the night yelling, I'm able to talk through the camera and ask the guests to please move without having to get out of bed and saying something risking a face-to-face -face confrontation. Simply Safe has been awarded and recommended by experts including US News and World Report and PC Mag and is trusted by more than 3 million Americans to keep them safe while at home. That gives me the extra peace of mind knowing that this system really works and helps protect my family in case of emergency. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitor monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit www.simplysafe.com slash bargain Bethany to learn more. Another tier tray you can find that I absolutely love in the Bullseye Playground right now is this small little bar cart tier tray. Now in December, I showed you guys how to take mini alcohol bottles and place them on a tier tray to give as a gift. I feel like that's a cute thing to do with this, but we're not going to do that again. Instead, I'm going to use this to place coffee items on top of. So I put some K-Cups on the bottom of the tray. In the Bullseye Playground, there's a bunch of coffee themed things. I found this four pack of espresso glass glasses that I placed on top of my tier tray. They also have these small little signs that go well in tier trays. So I bought a three pack and placed the little easel one on top of my tier tray. I messed around with this just a little bit. I eventually ended up adding a little bowl that I got from Target and put some creamers inside of it. I love the way that this is styled. If you want to display your coffee mugs on the cheap or you want to remove them from the cabinets to make more space in your cabinets, in the Bullseye Playground right now, you can find this $3 mug holder. Now, all you have to do is screw this into your wall. I ended up using nails instead. Do not judge the hammer I am using. I needed a regular hammer. I couldn't find anything. I had to put the nails through my cabinet, so I did not want to use screws. And I did this underneath the cabinet so that you couldn't really see the holes. I did use a few command strips at the bottom to really just make sure everything was secure instead of just doing mugs I did throw a bucket that I got from Dollar Tree with some greenery that I got from Ikea on there this is an amazing buy for just three dollars things like this retail for more than just that you can find these $5 shells in the Bullseye Playground right now. They have a natural wood look to them. I took the one that has three hooks and I put that inside of the kitchen. To attach them to the wall, I ended up using some command strips just because I wanted to place this on the tile and I was not about to drill holes through the tile. You want to make sure if you use command strips that you are using the appropriate amount of command strips to hold the amount of weight you plan on putting on your shelf. This is another piece that you can hang some mugs off of. Instead, I am going to hang some pot holders on this and an oven mitt. On the top of the shelf, I put some spices there. You can hang so many different things off of the hooks. You can use this inside of the bathroom and use it to hang towels or use it in the entryway and hang coats and scarves off of it. I also decided to switch this around and hang some kitchen utensils off of this. You can use it in any room and I do think that it's worth that $5. 
If you're looking to revamp your walls on the cheap, do not pass up the self-adhesive wall tiles in the Bullseye Playground. They brought back popular designs from last year and more. I used these black tiles on my bathroom wall last year. This footage is from a different video and almost a year later and countless showers in that bathroom. The moisture in the air has not messed with the tiles at all. They are still going strong. These tiles are a steal at this price. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. They have so many different designs to choose from. Now I found these bins not in the Bullseye Playground, but they're worth noting. They're a dollar more than what you usually play in the Bullseye Playground. They have $6 bins and $12 bins. So $12 bins are a big size. And they are acrylic. So if you like the look of acrylic versus plastic, like the plastic bins Dollar Tree carries, I think these are a pretty good price. And to actually decide to use a couple of them underneath my bathroom sink. I am going to have a decluttering video for you guys out soon enough. I have to do so much decluttering and I have to work underneath this bathroom sink because in this bathroom sink I just have a lot of cleaning supplies that I'm not really using and then even dog items. But however, underneath this sink it was starting to get a little chaotic because Matt had brought home some dog stuff and they're just like piled under there so I wanted to use the bins to organize under there a little bit more with the dog stuff get them out of the cleaning supply bin and then I wanted to get the hand soap that we have out of the plastic bin that it was in just because there was too many and it was starting to bend the plastic so instead I put it into the acrylic so this helped organize underneath my bathroom sink a little bit more. I'm actually contemplating switching over to the acrylic bins from Target though at a dollar and 25 cents the bins from Dollar Tree are really really good I'm thinking of trying to go with a more sleek look under there we'll see let me know if you think I should do that and if I should include it in a video just give me ideas Finally, I found this tray in the Bullseye Playground that I think is great for storing toilet paper on top of your toilet. So if you have a toilet where there's nothing above it, you can use this tray to just add a couple of toilet paper there so you have some extra space to store toilet paper and extra toilet paper on hand. I actually made something like this before using Dollar Tree products and I'll try to link that video down in the description box below for you if you're interested. Or you can buy this for a dollar and just have a few on top of the toilet. I actually think it looks a little bit more decorated this way it's weird to say that you're decorating with toilet paper but that is kind of what it is and then it's just perfect for like I said organizing and storing extra bathroom supplies that's all I have for you this video I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much simply safe for sponsoring this video I will see you guys next time take care bye